Hey guys, it's Icy New Year, and we are back with some more Kerbal Space Program. Um, playing some better than starting manned. And what we're going to do is focus on that mystery goo today. Uh, so I'm going to build the same basic thing I had last time, the manned vessel that didn't work out for me. Those are not the right ones. The manned vessel that didn't work out for me. But I'm going to just grab me some... Oh, wait, I should probably do this correctly. There we go. Those two, those two. Put that one last. There we go. But what I'm going to do is do it with a... This thing. Probe. Yeah, there we go. I'm doing it with a probe instead. That way we can get some... Uh, we'll easily be able to retrieve it. We won't have our explosion, explosive decompression. Are those angled? Yeah, they're angled a little bit. Weird. Um, and I think I can bring this thing down safely pretty easily. I need utility. No, it's under aerodynamic. I'm not used to those being under aerodynamic yet. And I need my... No, that's a battery. Uh, goo mystery goo containment unit. There we go. Good to go. Good to go. That looks pretty and simple. So this is the goo blaster. 10k. Which is outright the most disgusting name I've ever thought of. Um, yeah. So we didn't do that great last time, but our explosive decompression play was really fun. So I should probably get this separated. Ready to launch in three, two, one. I should have put winglets on this thing. I should have put winglets on it. And an SAS unit, actually. That would have made my life easier. Whatever. We're going to see how we do with this. And then, um... Go from there. Um... I can't remember how... I, once again, I still can't remember how high I need to be. There we go. I guess once I start seeing some stress on these guys, I'll know I'm at about the right spot. I don't know if this is going to get high enough because I completely forgot SAS and winglets. I have to get in the habit of remembering to put those on every time. It's like there's no reason for me not to be using them. Absolutely no reason because now I'm leaning pretty wildly. What did I just hear? Okay, I switched to map view and I thought I heard an explosion. Which is a way to make this default up in map view. I almost always want it. Um, I can't think of a time except when I'm in orbit that I don't want this to be up. So, yeah, there we go. I don't think this is high enough. Nope. That's fine. That's why I'm packing four of them. Well, I'm packing four of them because I'm lazy and it's the easiest way to do symmetry. Ground control. This is the Goo Blaster 10,000. I think we have a problem. Holy crap, that got higher than I expected. What the hell? Uh, so this isn't going to work. Because this went far higher than I expected. We're going to hit 83,000? What the hell? Okay. So, not what I expected. This probably isn't going to work. My parachutes are most likely going to burn off. Um, okay. Now, if it does work, I'm going to feel real good, but it's not going to. Let's expose this mystery goo. Keep that data. I'm going to get so much science if I can bring this thing down, but I can almost guarantee I'm not going to. And might as well expose that one at its top. Yep, same thing. We're not going to be able to bring this down, though. Like, it's... I'm, my parachutes are probably going to burn off, right? They should. What if I can put heat shields in my parachutes? I'm not exactly sure how the heat shields work. I have to start playing with those when I do my next manned flight. Um, because in most of what I'm doing, they're not terribly important yet. But uh, I will definitely be doing manned flights here soon. Yep, they're gonna overheat. And there it goes. 
Okay, so that went far higher than I wanted it to, which was a huge issue. Um, let's just revert this back to assembly. And if we can get a, like, less of an incline, I think we can make this work even if it does go that high. So put those on here. And I want to take that off for a moment. We're going to put on, and this should uh, weigh it down a little more. So we don't go as high anyway. It's under control. I gotta learn this. Inline stabilizer. RCS fuel tank. Bloop. And then these bad boys. Line them up with my wings. That should do it. Okay, let's try this again. Totally forgot to switch it again. But that's okay. So around 40k is where we want to take one our um high atmosphere reading. And by switch it, I mean the parachutes. Is what I forgot to switch the staging on. And let's go. Turn on our SAS. See what we can do here. If we can get a much more shallow re-entry, uh, we shouldn't build up heat as much. And I think we might be able to pull this off. So that's what we're going to aim for. Um, I'm actually going to start tilting fairly early on. Solid fuels rocking out. I'm gonna start tilting it like now, essentially. Because I don't want to go as high as I did, basically. It's my reasoning behind starting this tilt incredibly early. Okay, and if I can aim into the ocean, it might be a little bit softer landing. Last booster. I actually really enjoy using solid fuel boosters. It's kind of fun to see what you can do with those restrictions. Okay. Now, obviously, I'm not going to be using them forever, but they're cool. They're really enjoyable. I'm glad I had to spend more time with just them, basically. I think I may have tilted too early and too much. I need RCS at this point. What am I capping out at? 22. Please tell me I can get higher than that. I don't have too much longer. I might not hit my 40k here. Let's see. We're going to tap out at... Oh, 36. Okay, so what we are going to do is warp just a little. Get closer to here. I don't know exactly what I need to be at. That is not a goo tank. That is far bigger than a goo tank. Oh, cool. Perfect. There's my upper atmosphere. It's only like 30-ish. And we'll just expose the rest because... Now yeah, we'll just do two. I want something exposed on the ground. And now we just have to make sure we don't screw up the whole... Uh, Re-entry process. I'm never positive exactly when to drop my um uh oh man RCS makes a huge difference on reentry I like this so when you turn it off I just like flop all over <coughs> I actually have some control this way I like it let's go ahead and pop my parachutes now as I was saying I kind of stopped in the middle of I'm never quite sure when to pop my parachutes um. But I think this is probably a good time. 10k. And I think I've brought a ship like this down on a... Well, a little bit lighter than this on four parachutes before. So hopefully we can do it. I'm just going to wiggle it. Try to get it righted. <sighs> Almost. Go! Go! RCS thrusters! It's like a seesaw. Eventually we'll do, we'll flip over the whole thing. Okay. There we are. We're getting there. We're almost there. We can flip over the top bar. We'll be a legend on the place ground. Mm. Must have just burning mono propellant. The least <laughs> efficient way to land a ship ever. Pendulum your way down, right? That's what they teach you in school. Okay, I should actually probably stop that. 
And there's my parachutes. Can I flip? Can I flip around? No, that ain't happening. So I guess we'll just stabilize. Just try to go in this water with as le little resistance as possible. I hate once the parachutes pop out. It takes so long to go down. It's also very hard to see exactly where the ground is. Oop, time warped the wrong way. We have to turn it off. Whew. Ah, gently laying on the ground. Beautiful. I call shenanigans on that. I better get science. I call shenanigans. Ah. That was really sad. Like, really, really sad. I'm not sure exactly how that went down. Um. Yeah. I don't even know, actually. Like, I legit don't understand how that one all happened. <laughs> okay, we're going to try one more launch with this guy. Sorry about the t um, repeat launch, but I call BS on it. I call absolute BS on that one. I don't understand how that happened. I should have checked my log and figured it out from there. <coughs> okay. Okay. We just need to land one. That's the that's the thing. Just one landing. I'm good. Let's see if we can get a little higher. We'll keep the incline not as steep as last time. I even landed for the ocean and everything. Hmm. Yeah, we're just going to keep it like this angle or so. We'll see. Let's try to get like a not so steep curve. But that one wasn't very steep. There we go. That's going to look nice. I like that curve. I like those curves, girl. Okay, so let's like kind of like level it off a little. So we kind of come in a little bit. We need RCS now. Okay. So how are we going to look here? Yeah, it's a pretty... It's reasonably shallow. It's not incredibly shallow. Eh. We might be able to survive that. It's, it's hard to say. So let's go ahead and open a goo canister. Keep that data. And uh, I'm going to do what you guys hate. Okay, so we're getting close to their, our tippy top here. 21 seconds. There we go. Yep, cool. It's still upper atmosphere. I thought so, but I wanted to be sure. And we're going to do a little bit of time warping. As long as these parachutes survive, I really call shenanigans on that. Okay, so the heat up process is going to start happening here soon. I'm actually not sure the best way to go about re-entry. Like, should I put my butt towards it to save the uh, heat on the parachutes? Like, is that reasonable? I need to do more testing on, like, re-entry and what's the best way to go about it. Because I'm naturally putting my nose cone towards it each time. I don't know if that's, like, the greatest way. Because I could put, like, heat shield. No, I <laughs> can't put heat shields on the end of the engines. That would be real dumb. Okay, so now I'm losing control. Okay. 
Is, are these cooling down now? They seem to be cooling down. Okay. I'm at least past that portion. And I know time warp, etc., etc. But this video, this episode's running long, so I'm just trying to get to the point where we can safely. Okay, my parachute should expand soon. You can't blame that on time warp. I wasn't time warping when it exploded. Okay, my parachute should expand any moment now. It better not have been for my wiggling. Any moment now. Parachutes. Thank you. We're going to time warp to about like 250. And here we go. So let's hope against hope that this thing does not explode. We might as well expose some mystery goo while we're at it. Yeah. Squeals briefly and then is then silent. Huh. It's the same thing. Okay. I'm just hoping this thing lands well. It doesn't just land in the water, float around for a little bit, then explode. If it does that again, we'll be sure to look at our logs and figure out what the hell went down. Please be cool. Don't burn me here. And I don't think there's anything for it being in water now. Cool. Let's recover a vessel. How much did we get? I think this is my second goo recovery. 35 science. Nice. So looking through research and development. We've got general construction and advanced rocketry. rocketry. I'm going with general construction because I really want decouplers. And these octagonal struts. Um, stability enhancers are nice too. The bio coupler I'm excited about. Boom. That unlocks fuel systems, which is basic jet engine, fuel tank, fuselage, monopropellant tank, and a Clampotron docking port. I've never done docking. So that's going to be an interesting one. Advanced construction. NCS adapter. Structural fuselage. Strut connect. Ooh, space duct tape. Uh, Rocco Max brand adapter. Seismic accelerometer. Protect and record accurate. Okay. And a tri-stack coupler. But the next thing we have to get, obviously, is our liquid fuel engine, another fuel tank, and another fuel tank. Awesome. I'm excited. I can't wait. I want to thank you all for watching. We're actually very close. If we recover... If we can get a full recover... Um, crew report from that high one we should be like golden on that but i want to thank you all for watching remember to like comment subscribe and as always have a great day